problems with the fire alarm system. It's the sort of thing which seems to sum up a season in which little appears to have gone quite right for Plymouth Argyle. But they do go into this game knowing that they could make the playoffs, of course. And once you uh, introduce the word mathematical to their chances, the equation becomes improbable, if not insoluble. Arithmetic's a little easier for Cambridge United. They're already promoted. Victory this afternoon could be enough to give them the championship. I certainly want to put on a show for the fans who've waited so patiently. Russell looking to get it forward. Coming back inside again. And now Benjamin. Wanless with a little back heel. And that was a good challenge from Heathcote. The shot coming in. Tunji doing well to get behind it. It was Jamie Campbell who had sneaked up and got in the shot with the outside of the boot. And came through the players and Dungey doing well to grasp it at the second attempt. And then Watton. Ogier back to goal. And wide for Collins. The first time ball for Steve Guinan. Just coming across to cover. Guinan looking to get to the byline. He's won a corner. Turn it in, left-footed, underneath the goal post, and oh, has it gone in? It has, yes. Well, a real combination of errors in that Cambridge defence. And well, Sean Marshall, who made the initial one, his rather wayward punch, just directing the ball behind his head. And Scott Eustace tried to clear it. Well, the ball finishing up in the back of the net. There's Weatherick looking to knock it forward. Well, that could be a good ball. Collins and Barlow can make up the mind who's going to take it. Crow got underneath it. And a punch again from Sean Marshall. A ball that you would have thought that he would have caught. Not to be under any sort of pressure at all. And I his confidence has gone a little. Basto finding Barlow. Now Simon Collins. Little chip towards Guinan. Brings it down well on the chest. Little back heel. Crow is in there. Can he get the shot in? That's a good save this time. And Marshall doing something to atone for his earlier error. Put the foot out well then. And a lovely little move from Argyle. A little back heel through. And Glenn Crow quickly onto it with the shot. Good save from the goalkeeper. There's Weatherick again with the corner. Curl towards the far post this time. He's got trying to get on the end of it. Marshall coming with the punch. More positive this time. Barlow. That was only just over the top. And every time Argyle get the ball into the air in that Cambridge box, there seems to be a certain degree of panic. He got it away that time as far as the edge of the box, but Barlow's shot just curling well, inches over the top, really. This is Martin Butler. Cross coming in from Chenery towards Trevor Benjamin. Oh, he's got a foot in. Roger turned into trouble. Ian Ashby. Might look to try the shot there. He's given it to Benjamin. Oh, that's a good finish. That's a very good finish from Trevor Benjamin. Now well, the Cambridge fans call him Bruno. He's just delivered his first knockout blow of the afternoon. He was nicely set up by Ian Ashby. He had the time and the space. And he planted the shot perfectly. Moje, Barlow on this near touchline. Collins is going up on the overlap. Looking for the one-two with Glenn Crow. Oh, his first touch just didn't quite take it where he wanted it to go. Collins with the cross. Barlow still in the middle, so too is Basto. <laughs> That's deflected over. Oh, good cross from Simon Collins. Basto coming in on the far post. Swung his leg at it. Duncan in the way. Marlow, turning it back for Watton. Cross curled in towards Lee Phillips. Guinan with a shot. Oh, it's bounced awkwardly. Matt Marshall getting himself behind it. And he couldn't quite get the power that he wanted, Steve Guinan then. Came to it at an awkward sort of height. Into the ground, but Marshall well behind it in the end. Watton getting the better of Butler. Now Lee Phillips. 
looking to play the 1-2 with Moje, he was caught after the ball had gone. Referee saying play on. Phillips with the cross. It'll come for Basto. Oh, the shot was blocked by Duncan. I'm not sure that Marshall hadn't been wrong-footed then. And a good sweeping move from Argyle. It's just a pity that Lee Phillips' ball is all behind his attackers. Basto had to come back for it. And the shot comfortably blocked in the end. Well, the flag has stayed down here. Martin Butler, he's got away from Dungey, but delayed a little too long, perhaps. Still they're lining up. Benjamin with the shot. Oh, that is just wide. And well, chances at both ends. And Cambridge had the better of them, really. Looking to set Steve Guinan off on a little run. And the corner has been given. Guinan rewarded for his persistence then. There's Weatherick with the corner. Curl towards the far post. Heathcote trying to get up on the end of it. Headed away for another corner by Scott Eustace. Curl towards Heathcote. A chance here. Will it be forced over? Yes, it is. It's Glenn Crow who's got the goal. And his first for the club. And I wonder how important that could be. Well, it was Martin Barlow's corner that caused the initial problem. A little flick on from Heathcote. Guinan, I think it was, at the far post who played it back across. Just seemed to hang around for a little while before Crow eventually forced it over the line. A flick on from Benjamin. Butler. Russell trying to get the cross in towards Michael Kidd. He does well. Benjamin! And Argyle claiming that Benjamin was offside. The referee's assistant on this side, Wendy Toms, just shakes her head. And Trevor Benjamin gets his second of the afternoon. Well, the Argyle players incensed. Not really, probably only have themselves to blame. They're not getting the ball away initially. A little knockdown, finding Trevor Benjamin. He made no mistake from that distance. We wanted to finish with a with a good performance, and I think we did. You know, there was a lot of effort out there today. The the players gave their all. Um, Cambridge are a very big, strong, physical side, difficult to play against. Um, we got the break uh, nice and early. You know, in our favour for a change, because normally we, we you know we're a goal down after about five or ten minutes. Whereas uh, today we got the lucky break and. Um, in all fairness, I thought we controlled the game for long periods. But, uh, you know, the encouraging thing was a better performance. Obviously very disappointed that we didn't get the three points to keep our, you know, our season alive for the remaining two games. But, you know, we've got another two hard games to come, Scarborough and Carlisle. And uh, they are going to be tough games because they're still fighting for it, fighting for their lives. And uh, we want to finish the season on a high.